Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Today I want to talk about something I think many of us take for granted. It just came to my attention again and kind of my consciousness was jarred. In our lives, there are people that come into our lives, there's people that move through our lives, there's people that have certain meaning to us, teach us things, and offer us comfort sometimes. Sometimes offer us strength when we don't have it. And I was just reminded of one of those people in my life. And many times we go through changes, we go through traumas, we go through massive upheavals. It can come in divorce, it can come in death, it can come in terminal illness. It can come with the shock of reality of a paradigm shift in our life when we maybe lose a loved one or maybe we leave a household. As I work in my career, and I've been doing this now for 30 years, or just about, give or take a year, and I realize that even in my life, as I look back, there's been certain people that have been tremendous pivoters in the direction that I've gone. In your life, there's people like that too. There's people that you could say are one of the best things that ever happened to you, and then there's other people you can say that are probably the worst thing that ever happened to you. Even though they might have been the worst, they still made changes in your life that have brought you to where you are today. And the lesson for today is, you are where you are today, like it or not. And some of us are in places we love, and things are going really well for us, and other people are in places they can't believe where they've got to. Even in my life right now, I look at where I am compared to where I thought I would be, and I scratch my head going, how did I get here? Not that here's a bad place. But when I was in high school, this is the last thing I thought I'd be doing is what I'm doing right now. But events happen in our life that steer us and mold us to go into a certain direction. It happens with all of us. Sometimes even when we have a terminal illness, it can seem like the worst thing that ever happened to us. And then after someone survives that, they realize, wow, that was really a good thing. In fact, with terminal illness, a lot of times, it is nothing more than the indicator of something going on in your life. And once you recognize that and manage that, the illness goes away. They call that a miracle or remission. It happens. Today, what I want you to do is... Think about the people that have come into your life, the special people, the people you've loved, the people you've spent time with, the people you've loathed, the people you're glad you never have seen them again. And rather than say they're gone, look at how they have molded you. Look at how they have changed you. And look at the person you are today. And even if you're not where you want to be, one of the things I want you to do is understand where you are today is a launching platform of where you're going to go next. You have control of that now based on the wisdom that we have. And a few tune-ups ago, I said leave your baggage at the door because it's really not baggage. It's nothing more than wisdom. And if it is still baggage, it just means you have not made sense out of it yet. Everyone has baggage or everyone has a past that's loaded with wisdom. Use your wisdom today. And no matter who is in your life that's an antagonist or a loved one or someone you care about, and sometimes you wonder if they care about you, just let it be. Just be thankful and grateful for that person because they are teaching you something, even if it's comfortable or if it's not. And all of those who you watch me, and those of you who contact me. I appreciate it. Pass these tune-ups on to your friends. They're free. I'm not going to charge you for it. It's my way of helping you. And if you like this, let people know and let me know. And if you have ideas, let me know. I'll help you. So until Monday, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, eye-opening, enlightening weekend. Until I talk to you next week, I'm wishing you an extraordinary day. And be thankful and grateful for the people that have come through your life. Bye-bye.